Ayo, we're back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> it's episode 34. Let's go, Mom. I- I'm really proud of the way our our podcast is going. Our listeners are growing. They are? Yeah. Okay, well, let's continue being right. consistent. Consistency is key. There's let's this... bring them the good content. Ready? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mom. I'm, um really proud that that you're like happy because every time you're on here you're complaining about how many listeners we have i know and now you're happy about it well i don't check numbers you do check numbers <laughs> what are you talking about no, i checked numbers the other you day you literally text me all the time and this is our soundcloud this is our youtube <laughs> blah 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 where the fuck are these people <laughs> why are they not taking us with them on their jogs what oh gotcha <laughs> right yeah anyways Wait, Mom, wait. There's an update to the licking ice cream. Yeah. (laughs) They have two cops. Yeah. At uh, the one place, I guess, where it happened, guarding guarding the ice cream. So they're just standing in front of the freezers, two cops. And then another store. funny, but also a waste of time, but funny. Right. And then another store has, like, security guards with squirt guns. What? Standing at the freezer doors. Oh, my God. (laughs) But, like... It's not just the freezer. No, now. it's going it's out of everything. control. It's going what out of control. What the hell is that video you sent me with the girl licking doctor's office supplies? Uh, people have gone nuts, Ev. And another one today. Like, Do you want to hear about the one today? People go to the doctor to reverse their sicknesses. Right. And now they're going to get sick. Yeah. Do you want to hear about the one today? Fine. I don't want to, but yes. Go on. This, I think this was in China. Yeah. And this woman works in a restaurant. And I guess she's fed up with the way it's going. That she urinated in the ice cream. What the fuck? And spit. What does she mean? She's fed up with the way it's going. I guess they're not treat. They're mistreating her or something. And who? The customers who are suffering maybe from the, the fucking owners. pee I don't ice know. cream now. So. That's bullshit. But the thing is, there's cameras everywhere. So hopefully they got to that ice oh cream in time. Oh my god. Hopefully they got to the ice cream in time and discarded the ice cream and washed the machines. You think they and actually check? Them? The cameras? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would think. Why would they in have a reason like to? In a country like that, I think they would check. Oh, it was in China? I think it was in China, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're very strict. That's with crazy. employees there. Yeah. Why? Know, Why are people this dumb? The world has gone mad. You know, I saw, I think somebody tweeted at me that, um, like, the media should stop giving yes, these people... I saw that. Yeah, but I don't know if I agree with that completely. I agree with the, like, school shooters and stuff like that by not saying their name or putting a picture of their face out there if they've been caught so that they don't make them famous. But, like, with these things, I don't think it's the media. I think people are going to be stupid either, either way. They've all been stupid. They were all caught in camera or they've filmed themselves. I, that's what I'm saying. Right? I, I They're don't all stupid. Think... Do we talk about the two that I are... Get, I get how it's being spread, though. Yeah. But I don't think it's... Is it the media spreading it or is it just going viral well, on Twitter? Well, people see it and then it just... Everybody like the, tries it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it has mm-hmm. to go viral on yeah. social media yeah. before the media picks, picks it up. up. Yeah. Right? So, I feel like, if anything, it's not the media. It's the social, social media. media. It's, like, just yeah. people spreading it around. I can't remember where there's this other one. Uh, there was a 60 kids yeah. that staged a raid in... What's the pharmacy that we go what's to in New raid? York? Where they all bombard the store at the same time. To and do what? And stole. Oh, and they steal it. Vandalized and stole. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. So now they're trying to catch the 60 students that did. 60. 60 of them all got together. They do that because they're like, they're not going to arrest all of us. Yeah, well, they caught like, faces on not? camera. Why not arrest everybody? Once you arrest one, there's always a snitch that don't want to go to jail and wants a plea bargain. So. They're still going to jail, as you can see. And when they see us, if you haven't seen it yet, oh my see God, it. See it. It's so good. I hope that our rave reviews yeah, I hope make you guys it. watch it because, you know, I always, I think a good piece of art or film or whatever makes you feel something. And yeah. I think this really yeah. gets under your skin it and it makes you feel a certain way. And I think that's an amazing thing that both the directors, actors, writers, everybody, everybody involved. Everybody. It's such a good movie. Did. Okay, was, here's one more crazy before... It wasn't a movie, documentary. Okay, what? There was, was this four in Texas. Anyways, Listen, this woman in Texas, 47-year-old, living with her, I guess, 13-year-old daughter or 12-year-old daughter. Yeah. 
and with her mom, the lady, the 47 year old's mom. Yeah. They've been living there for three years, going the two, the mother and the daughter, yeah. going on with their business while there's the dead mom in her bedroom. Sorry, what? Did she kill her mom? No, the mom fell and she didn't get assistance for her and she didn't help her. And then three days later, she died. And three years later, she decomposed. The cops went in and found bones but in the body. But I don't body. get it. How do you know your mother? Don't you say, mom, hello? She didn't care to help her. Wait, what? She didn't. Her mother fell down. Yeah, and the 47-year-old didn't care to help didn't her? Didn't care to help her. Didn't call the ambulance for assistance. Okay. Didn't get her the proper care that she needed. She died within a three-day period. So she knew her mom was dead is what I just asked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lived you in this. You said no. No, no. She knew her mom was dead. Yeah. She just lived under the same roof as a dead person decomposing. Three years later, the cops get a call, and they went and found bones in the bu- in the. In her, her bedroom, Why the mother's would the bedroom. Cops get a call because apparently something happened, so social services had to get involved. Oh God! And so now she lost her daughter. She got well, charged. She, she should because she why do you not help your mother and yeah. then leave a dead body in there and for have, three years and have the young child at the time living in the same place as a dead grandmother? That's insane. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? People have gone crazy. People have gone mad. People need to find hobbies. I think people are always. I think mad. people need to take fiber. I think that's crazy. Yeah. Nuts. I don't know what possesses you to... to so is she charged with murder or anything like um, that? She, is she, it murder? No, she's not. I don't know if she's charged with murder. She was charged. Hold on. Let me see. Like, her mom fell and she didn't help her. Is that murder? That's second degree murder? 71. She injured in, uh, in a fall and received no assistance and died on a bedroom floor days later. What the hell? Yeah. So what is she going to be charged with? I know she could get up to 20 years in jail. What? They said Delisa Clayton has been charged with injury to a child under 15 because her daughter had been living in the house while the body was decaying in the next room. Oh, my God. Yeah. The offense carries a jail term of 20 years and possible $10,000 fine. I hope they throw her in jail. That's disgusting. Yeah, they That's need to throw her disgusting. in jail. Yep. Insane, eh? Insane. Yep. But the, on the positive news, there's this mom having a baby in the car and she delivers her own baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that great news? That's great, but like what? <laughs> yeah. How do you deliver your own baby? Don't you need assistance? I have no idea. I think the boyfriend or their husband was driving. Yeah. Driving her and she just delivered her own baby. I guess by the time they got but to the But doesn't husband, the baby need things? The baby could have popped yeah, a nice clean blanket and the umbilical cord to come off. Right away? I don't know actually. I don't know about these things. Yeah, I don't know about the umbilical cord thing. Yep. Oh. So isn't that... That's a happy note there. That's and all the craziness. And I'm sure everybody's seen scary. the five-foot guy in the bakery. No. Okay, so there's this five-foot guy in a bakery. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of taller people around him. And all of a sudden, he turns around, and he starts going off on them. Wait, you said five-foot foot. guy. Yeah, five-foot guy. I'm f- over five feet. Okay, well, this guy's five-foot. And he just went but off on why did you make it sound like he's, like, seven feet? No, this five foot guy. Yeah, I'm five feet, five four. Okay, (laughs) just listen to the story. Okay. I don't know what set him off in the bakery. Wait, but what does his height have to do with anything? Listen! Okay, I'm listening. So something set him off? Yeah. And he turns around, he goes, So, does it really matter? So I'm like, if I'm five foot, I hate this. I hate women. Every woman on Tinder, like, swipes, whatever. They don't give me a chance to show who I am. (laughs) And they're going, what are you talking about? We didn't say anything about your height. And he's like, he heard snicker, like, you know, yeah. the guy's short or whatever. Yeah. And he just went off on everybody. And he went up to this tall guy. Yeah. He goes, yeah, let's go outside. Let's take this outside. Because <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Right? Oh my and then one God. guy from behind, I guess, had enough of him and just went and plowed him to the ground. No. Like, yeah. Like, you know, that's enough. Right? And then they told him to leave and he wouldn't leave. He just kept going off on everybody. On everybody about oh, his he's height. he's sad that he's five feet. Yeah. Yeah. It really got to him. In that bakery, it got to him. Oh. So he just went off on everybody. And eventually... Uh, he went to the cashier, uh, they gave him his stuff, and they asked him to leave, and he threw his food down. Oh, my God. And then the girl was laughing behind the counter, so he comes back, and he goes, I'm taking it. And he took it, he left, he didn't pay oh for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then it said the caption at the bottom, the man left without paying. Oh, my God. <laughs> but the, the poor guy, but he went off. He, he just lost it. I guess he's had enough with not yeah. being able to find a woman who yeah. will accept him for his height. It is hard. It's hard because, like, even I'm into tall 
simpler people than me. Yeah. Which is, a, I wish I didn't say, I wish I didn't have that. But, but that's preferences, right? It's attraction. It's but that's preference. the most attraction, yeah. though. Yeah, it's attraction I feel preference. For short men. But he just went off. Well, a lot of short men get married. I know. Maybe he has do. a stinky personality. Who Maybe knows? Maybe he does. You're you right. Know, he, he went off on everybody. Maybe he's a miserable little twer- twerp and he just went off on everybody. You know, and he got. Maybe I he's mean, not people like. People get to their wits end. Too. Yeah, but he's probably. He could. Maybe he's not personable. Maybe he has nothing to talk about. Maybe he just focuses on Maybe his height. Maybe he likes tall people. Maybe, I don't know. And they don't like but him. Yeah, let's take this outside. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> like, maybe he's looking for the wrong thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stop. Don't do that. And maybe he just hasn't found the right person because the right person for him wouldn't care about his height. Exactly. Keep on going, five foot man. <laughs> five foot people. There's oh somebody out God. there for everybody. Do you believe that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. There's a lot there's of people in this world. Everybody. There's a, Exactly. There's a lot of people in this world. You know? Here's a little tip. Take a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, take, actually do this. Right, Evie? So take a piece of paper. Write down. Don't miss a thing. Write down everything you want in a person. Everything. Yeah. Like, don't miss a thing. Like, height, color hair, color eyes, like, anything. If you have that. Like, yeah, if, if, that's, if that matters to you, right? Um, like traveler, funny guy, like anything, anything, any personality, success, whatever, just write it all down. Someone to grow with you, someone to travel with you, like write all your interests down. And even if you think it's like unfathomable that a person can carry all these qualities in one. Right. Okay. But if you're ticking off, let's say you put down 20 and you got 15 or 10 out of 20, that's pretty good, right? In a person? Not 10 out of 20, that's half. 50%? Okay. So let's no. go 15 out of 20. Yeah. 15 so, so out of 15 20. 15 out of 20. If you got 10 things, hopefully you get all 10 things. But, if you're but just make 20, sure that the five things there are like physical features because if they're core values, I don't agree with that. Yeah. So top. Top. Go from the what you want the most to, you know, things that are important to you but don't really matter. You know, I told Annette that I wrote down my ideal guy. Yeah. And and then found my ideal guy. <laughs> and Annette was like, I swear to God, every one of my friends that have told me they've written it down, they've literally right? found the person yeah. that they wrote yeah. down. So do it and then don't look at the paper again. Just yeah. put it away. Yeah, like, I want to find Like, Evie paper, can't find though. hers, which is a good thing. No, I can't find my book. Where'd you put it? I said they might be in here. I think I know exactly what so, it is, but... So, put it away and don't look at it again. There's some things out there that say to look at it every day when you first wake up in the morning and you and then you go to bed at night. I, I don't know. Um, I've whatever tried that method. Whatever works for you, though. Yeah, whatever works for you. I've tried that method. I don't think it's working. I'm the type who just like writes or thinks about it and just forgets about it or writes it down and just loses the paper or something or keep it in your wallet if you really. Yeah, but, I like the saying, again. let go and let God right. or let the universe, whatever yeah, you believe in or don't yeah. believe in, just it's like write it down and then let it go. Like it go. give that to mm-hmm. the outer yep. sources. There you go. Leave it into the universe, right? So I highly recommend that. And that doesn't only go with uh, a person that you're trying to find to be part of your life. That goes in everything. Do it in business. Do it in roommates. Do it in what you I want know, in life. I know, but it's hard like, do because it I also like wrote down an unrealistic YouTube sub that I wanted to have and it did not come true. Okay, it may not come true. No, I put a date on it. Yeah, I don't find dates work either. No. I was like, I want 200,000 subscribers by August. And it was like March. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, this is going to happen. But also, yeah. I wasn't working for it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't just yeah, you can't, let go exactly. and let the universe. Yeah, you I'm have glad to you put it out it there. Too. Yeah, you have to work for it, right? Like, if you want to if you want to make a million dollars in two years, you can't just sit on a couch and think you're going to make a million dollars. Like, you that's, have to work for and it. And that's the sad part that everybody gets out of The Secret, right? When they watch The Secret, what? They, they become delusional, think, oh, I can sit on the couch and the doorbell is going to ring and they're going to bring me but a that's check. That's not what they're saying, though. But that's how people perceive it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's why I say um, when you watch The Secret, tell me what you think about it and what did you get out of it. And, and my idea is that's what they're getting out of it. And when they tell me, I go watch it again until you figure it out. Because like that's not what The Secret is telling goals you. goals and then work towards them. Right. But don't be like frustrated if they're not coming true. Just trust that they're going to happen, but you just got to keep working for them. 
And you know what? Sometimes life takes a left and then it's going to give you a right. So it's definitely not a linear path. That's for sure. Right. So it may not come tomorrow. It may not come six months from now, but it could come a year from now. And you're going, fuck, last year I wrote this down and it came true. You know, so actually I wrote it down in, I want to say December of last year. Yeah. Was it December? Beginning of December? No. No? It wasn't beginning of December because I went on that like little date with that guy. Oh, who yeah, went yeah, back yeah, to yeah. His so ex. it was after that. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, I was like, after I'm that. so fed up with men. <laughs> this is bullshit. Like, I was like, I'm going to go back to New York and I'm going to find the perfect American man. American man. And this is my perfect man. Blah, 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 blah. Wrote it down, closed the book. And then, I mean, actually, he messaged, he messaged me in that month. Mm-hmm. But I but I didn't see it. Yeah. And he re-messaged me a month later. It's a good thing. Emailed me because that year was not a good year for you. No. If so, I had met him in 2018, yeah, you were so concerned things that things would have been so different. Right. So you yeah. opened up the email in 2019. No, but I didn't open it up. He Facebook messaged oh, me. Facebook mess- oh, Facebook message. And then he emailed me. Uh huh. In January. Yeah. So. You opened up in January is what I'm saying. I opened up the email when I got the email, yeah. but I'm saying he had previously messaged me right. on Facebook yeah. in December. Yeah, but you didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah. And then Good he thing. See how the, see how the universe worked for me. you? Because you were so against 2019. I mean, 18. 2018. I you just so wanted to, against You it. wanted to be over with. I know. And I was you like, said, anything that happens in 2018 is wrong for me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and then 2019, he emailed you again. He and, me. Yeah, emailed you, and then but the rest is history. It wasn't, I know, but it wasn't like um, no, it was a prospect. Yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. didn't email me being like, hey, would you like to go on a date? Yeah, no. I would have been like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that. No, it just it happened. It was a friendship that. that turned into something more. Yeah. But yeah, it, write it down, people. Yeah, write it down. I'm write you, it down write for it anything. Down. Like, write it down for anything. It could literally come too. in any way. Like, who knew this guy was going to email me? Right. Like, what the fuck? I know. And you had no clue. You had no clue who he was. No, but it's weird because we were in the same program. I know, but you had no the clue. The same university program, the same class. I know. Yeah. Like, how Crazy, do you eh? not know? I was like, I know everybody in my program. <laughs> Obviously not. not from my program. But he did, halfway through, he went back. Like, he went down and just slowed down the right, program, the, the program right. for yeah. him. So, like, the last two years, I didn't mm. see him. Mm-hmm. But it's just so weird that, like, we went to the same program. We're on the same campus every day, and we never crossed paths. Or we did cross paths. I just don't remember. He remembers a, a specific moment. Right, yeah. But, like, we never interacted was the thing. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's crazy. You used to work a lot, too. I did work a lot. And I was also lot. a different person back then. Yeah. Like, I was focusing on the wrong things yes. back then. But you learn. I was focusing on my career, but I, but in terms of, like, Friends. personal life, I was focused on the wrong things. Mm-hmm. I was focused on materialistic shit, and I was focused on, like, popularity instead of just being me. Yeah, instead of being you, exactly. It's true. I was so caught up in... Like, what other people thought. Right. But also, I wasn't. I was, but I would also do, like, I would sleep in class and let people take pictures of me and not care about it. Like, (laughs) I would be up at three in the morning, like, throwing around a cucumber because I was just delusional and I wouldn't care about it. You know what I mean? Like, I did, but I didn't care. And now I'm just fully no fucks given. So, it's better. Like, I'm a better me because Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm -hmm. You know... To a certain extent, everybody cares what people think or else I would just go out looking like... Actually, that's not true because I do that for myself. Like when people are like, if you didn't care what you think, you wouldn't wear makeup and blah, blah, blah. Actually, I do that for myself. Yeah, the makeup stuff, you do do that for yourself. I like therapy. I I didn't see anybody for like six months and I was wearing makeup in the house. Yes, true. She was. So when people claim that... I wear makeup or anybody wears makeup for other people or wants to lose weight for other people or do their hair for other people. Like, that's not true. That's not true. We do it for ourselves. We do it. Well, Some people I, do. I do it for yeah, myself. You do it for I yourself. do it because I feel good. And, and, and honestly, like this whole journey has made me go into track pants and like sloppy clothes and I feel sloppy about it. You know what I mean? Like I can't wait 
to go back to New York and like first of all clean up my wardrobe and second of all like start wearing my old not my old clothes but like just start, yeah, start wearing things that again. are not yeah sloppy buffet pants and a large t-shirt mm-hmm. you know greasy pizza it's weird because two years ago like people like now i almost feel uncomfortable showing cleavage where before those were all my tops like and i didn't care it's just because i've been in this routine that i feel like weird like interesting being my like wearing tight jeans and a nice like v-neck shirt Mm -hmm, or something mm -hmm. like i feel like am i exposing too much of myself (laughs) it's really weird it's a really weird feeling but i need to get out of that because i feel sloppy in this shit the way you look on the outside does have a difference on your inside and And now my in your environment too but now my insides are like glowing that i need to like match my outsides but i can't because i feel because i've gained a lot of weight and i'll get there though i know but what sucks though is that one I'll get there, but I, I feel like I can right now, but I still can't exert myself on my foot. Not yet. So yeah. I can't. Yeah. And then when I go to my my dresser, I see all these pants and tops that don't fit me anymore, mm. which is upsetting to me, you know? Yeah, you might not want to walk the jungle gym just yet, but... No, I I know I can. But you're going to have to get good good quality support running shoes to no, help I you with that. I want the Chanel ones. Um, and then... <laughs> And then, um, then you can walk. But in the meantime, you could do the sit-ups and you can do everything. Else. Yeah, but remember sit-ups that, don't help. Mom. Okay, but remember that video that we had? You really slimmed the down. Ab with, yeah, that's not how I slimmed down. I slimmed down from the cardio. I was cardio. walking everywhere. Yeah, cardio. that's what helps me. I know. I didn't need to do a single ab. Like, I miss not being in New York right now. Yeah, I know. I didn't need to do a single ab workout when I was living in New York and I was thin mm-hmm. because I was walking everywhere. Yeah, like and. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, and I was eating less, but I can't even say that I wasn't eating less. <laughs> now I'll eat less because I lost my appetite through this whole thing too. But maybe I'll get it back when I start walking everywhere again. Mm. I don't know. It does make your juice, your appetite juices go. I'm I like, wonder. Fuck, so I'm heating up inside again. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to adjust when I go back what do you to mean? New York. Adjust. I haven't been there, so like. You, what just, is it? A, a week. Two weeks max, you'll be back in routine again. I hope so. Yeah. I won't have a job, so... Oh, you're going to go look for one. I don't want to. <laughs> I know you don't, but you're going to have to for a little I while. I want to do things on my and own. Then, and then... Why uh, am I going to have to? What if I can create something that I can start making money hey, with online? Evie, I mean, everybody out there, everybody's writing, finally going to write her poetry book. It should be no, out, I what, need to write three to six short, months? A short thing, Mom. Okay. Don't say poetry book. I think you Don't should do promise your, people shit. I think you should do your no. poetry book. I think you should do your a poetry, poetry book. book is a bigger thing, mom. Yeah, I don't have anything to write about. Okay, you have so much to I write about. I have shit all to write about. Yes. A poetry. I don't want to do fucking poetry right now. I told you I need to write a smaller book to see if people are even interested in my writing. You're such a good writer, though. You're a mother, and my no, mother at that. No, uh, no, I would tell you the truth. I don't know if you would. Yes, I would. I've told you the truth before, whether she I like it or not. Uh, no, she can't write. Mm. Cat can't write. I don't know if you're she has no interest that. in writing. If she had an interest, would you tell her? Yeah, go for it, cat. If she's a really good writer, no, yeah. Right now, yeah. if Cat said, "Mom, I have an interest in writing a book. Should I write one?" Yeah, I'd say, "Yeah, do it." See, you're a liar. She's not a good writer. She's not a good writer. See, but, you might but be encouraging know. me. No. no. Just because but I, I would have, have to encourage her, and then when she brings me the draft to read it, it's, mm, maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. Right? I don't think you'd kill her dreams like that if that's what she wanted to do. No. Cat's got a dream. And I'm pushing for that dream. I know. I'm saying if, mom. I'm pushing for that dream. I know, mom. I want that dream to happen. Okay, do you just want to say the dream? Like, why are you just continuing to say it? No. Anyways, what else we got to talk about, Evie? I don't know. I hate when you talk like that. Like what? What else we got to talk about, Evie? Yaz is boring. Yaz is this. I'm like, what? That's what you say. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Mom, don't lie to me. You said this last I think night. think your warhead's drunk, man. <laughs> it's not even open. You yeah, said because you're last... on the other package. Mom. What the hell are these? <laughs> Those are the bad ones. The cheap ones. You said this last night what when I was I... upstairs. I'm like, don't say that. You say Yaz. You texted to me. I have text proof, Mom. Okay. Mom. Okay. I, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> 
Guys, no. I need to find I said, the proof. First of all, I said you is, no. not Yaz is. You say Yaz. Y-A-Z. That's that's to uh, when there's a group of people. No. I say Yaz. Where is Yaz going? No, yeah. What the hell is that bullshit? It's plural no, for no, you. No, no, And the no. other persons around you. I'm typing in Yaz. Yeah. And Queen Irene Mom and Mother American Number are the only two chats that come up. The meaning of Yaz. Type it in. Evie. I can't read this. <laughs> okay, Evie. Type in. <laughs> Evie and blank. I'm glad we had this chat. I feel less stressed now. Who the hell wrote that? I, I wrote I feel better. less stressed? <laughs> Hope you two can sleep well. Love Yaz. Who the fuck wrote that? That's, you wrote that? That is like. <laughs> you wrote that and look. That's emotion shit. I don't write that bullshit. I don't have to show. I can't see it. You wrote down. it. That's emotion shit, girl. Yeah, I know it's emotion shit. What the hell is going on? Look. Are you sure I wrote that? Look. I would not have written that. There's no fucking way I would write shit like that. I hope you guys can sleep better tonight and shit like that. What the fuck is that? Who is that? That's you. Okay, let's see on your Get American number what here. it says. Okay, listen. Because Yaz sharing, it's making it possible for her to go. Okay, listen. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Half the Listen time I what? can't see what I'm typing. Listen okay, what? go into definition of Yaz. What okay. the hell? Who was involved in that conversation? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> emotional shit. Um, That's emotional shit right there. I know. Okay, go into definition of Yaz. Define Yaz. Yeah. Yaz Wikipedia. Yazoo, a band. <laughs> An English electro-pop band known as Yaz in the U.S. Yaz Pistachio, a female character from the comic strip Bloom County. Yaz, a brand of oral hormonal contraceptive containing drospironin. Drospironin. The sperms? That may <laughs> Automatic also sperms. be used to treat premenstrual dysphoric disorder. The fuck? Yaz, Urban Dictionary. Yeah, Urban Dictionary. Go. Yaz can either be used as a verb meaning to pee... Or the sound it makes when you pee. <laughs> I gotta go take a huge Yaz, BRB. <laughs> what the fuck? I think my Yaz should be in the Urban Dictionary too. Yaz, meaning good. I went down to John's new house. It's Yaz. What the fuck is this shit? Yaz, lovely, inspirational young woman. Someday might be present in big ambitions. If you could design a person, this would be it. I wish I was Yaz. What the fuck? My Yaz makes more sense than yeah, this. Yeah, slang word for cocaine, short form. Whoa, of easy there, cocaine. Yeah, the way people from the inner city, especially from New York, say you. Hey, <laughs> you're not from the inner city or New York. I belong there then. Oh my god, you know what the inner city means, mom? Yeah, like the downtown core of here. What? No, girl. Inner city, a term used in the United States referring to a place in a large city that is mostly populated by poor minorities. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> you're not a minority. <laughs> yeah, I am. No, you're not. I'm Canadian. I would be a poor minority. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There's a definition. What's the definition? Please yes. stop saying yes. Please stop saying yes. <laughs> Anyways. I thought it was an actual definition of plural of you why would it be a plural of you like use instead of saying use where are you's going where are y'all going where are yas going where are yas going no it makes sense no it does make i like sense. use better where are you's going where are you's going where are you's going yeah where are yas going where are you's going where are yas going where are yas going? going okay you guys no, yas or you like no i'm going with yas evie's going with use yeah i like if use you your fingers work comment below <laughs> And let Love, us know don't our shit on the viewers. You just said you're so happy that we have so many. No, I said it's great. People tweet at us. They do. We've had tweets. You've answered to them. Okay. There was one on on um, on YouTube that I answered back to. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you didn't. Oh, okay, is it my job? It's a not called <laughs> OMG Mom with Evie Y and annoying mother. Okay, there's two parts. <laughs> Yeah, I know, so, already know. I do everything for this podcast. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I really appreciate Ow! you. Okay, guys. Yaz or you? Yous. Yaz. Yaz or you? Yaz versus yous. Yeah, it's yous. Where sure. are yous going? Where are yaz going? 
I like Yaz. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Where are you going? We's going to the movies. Anyways, I think we should. I think at the end we should give some music shoutouts, don't you? Oh yeah, I would love to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to play them, but I'm gonna shout out first of all, "Crazy Bitch" by Buck Cherry. It's an old song from like 2005. But it's so good, and I mm. forgot about it, and I was recently reminded of it. Mm-hmm. And then a new one um, that I was shown, Cocaine Carolina with a K by L. King. Great. What are your two music shout-outs? I didn't know I was supposed to do this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, shout something out. I don't know. Believe by Cher. Okay. And what else? Um, Like a Virgin by Madonna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, those are your, we got to come up with a name for this. We'll just call them your musical shout outs for today. Okay. But I think we should do that. Just like we did some Netflix shout outs last time. We should do Netflix shout outs and And music shout outs at the end of the podcast. All right, bye. Bye. I guess we're done. Yep. Bye.